What's going on everyone? It's Brandon with your code you find jewelry, your personal jewelry. The number one email question I get is Brandon, what's the difference between a plain and diamond cut Franco? Now it's worth it for me. I've done this video at least two times to go back and explain it and re-upload it because every time I do it, I get better as to what points I need to make, what you guys are looking for, and the explanation that suits you best. So I'm gonna do a complete breakdown, a review of the diamond cut versus plain Franco. With that being said, let's get started. Point number one is the most important point of all, and if you're very particular, please listen closely because I can't stress this enough, is the diamond cut tends to hang on clothing. This shirt right here, it's a Lululemon. I honestly don't even know, like, the fabric ratio, what it is, but I know it's trouble with diamond cut chains. It grabs to the shirt. This one right here, the six and a half millimeter, is not, doesn't have that problem at all, surprisingly, but it's a different manufacturer from the five millimeter all the way down to the one millimeter. Um, I don't know if the diamond cuts aren't as intense on this one, but it doesn't really grab. I have my chains under there, which is kind of snagging it when I do that, but um, it doesn't really grab. Now, the big thing with this is this is also a very heavy chain, 150 plus grams. That helps with it, kind of anchor it down. When we're going lighter, like the one, the 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 2 millimeter, you guys get the point. There's not as much weight, so it'll definitely grab and snag. Not all the time, but from occasion, it can do that. So keep that in mind. For instance, with my GOAT pendant, I wear a one and a half millimeter plain Franco for this very reason. The GOAT is hollow. I can't believe I said that in on, on camera, but I bought it like that. I didn't make that piece. I just bought it wholesale. It's hollow, so I wanted just a plain Franco to reduce that issue because regardless, the GOAT with all those diamonds was the focal point. I didn't really need a diamond cut Franco to help with that look, so my preference was just to have a clean, classy look with the plain version and then have it paired with the GOAT. That was the look I was going for. Even something that simple, I get that intense into because of it's what I love, and I just like to have the perfect pair. So if you're going with a lighter pendant and you want to reduce that snag, I would go with a plain version. And honestly, guys, with the one millimeter, 1 1.2, 1 1.5, you can't really tell the difference between a diamond cut or a plain. I, of course, can from a mile away, but most people, the Francos are very nice. They're made in Italy, so already they're shiny. They just have great coloring to them. So if you go with a plain one millimeter, you're really not gonna tell the difference between the diamond cut um, as far as when you look at it, but when you wear it, the plain is a little more smooth and reduces that friction grab onto clothing. Point number two is how they look side by side. Long story short, Plain is boxy and smooth and diamond cut is faceted and rounded. It's two completely look, especially you go up in width. I really think you gotta consider going with the diamond cut. To me, it's just that classic Jacoji Franco look, what I know and love. I respect the plain because it is a great wear, it's smooth, and you get a classic gold chain look with it. I just don't think it compares to the diamond cut version. Um, when we're talking like three and a half, four, or five, and then this six and a half, the big boy, I think you gotta look into the diamond cut version first, but if point one is going to make a big difference to you, if you're super particular, then stick with plain. There's nothing wrong with the boxy look. It's a nice gold chain look. It is not the Lamborghini that the diamond cut offers, but at the end of the day, it's a Jacoji chain and you're getting a great wear with it. And the smooth surfaces does make a big difference and play out, especially if you're planning on wearing it a lot or every day. You don't want to get something that bothers your neck and the diamond cuts catches you and you're frustrated with it all day long, especially with the gram weight you're going to have to spend to get a Franco because they are heavy. But the larger they are, like two, I'd say two and a half millimeters plus, you really start seeing the difference visually with these chains. And point number three is very easy and simple. You buy your Francos on www.jacoji.com from the Franco King. You see that? You see that right there? I wear all athletic apparel gym clothes and I haven't been to the gym in three months. That's it for today's video. Let me know what your preference is between diamond cut or plain and we will see you on our next jewelry video.